Serious challenges tonight to the validity of the petitions for three of the most formidable GOP contenders. Former Detroit Police Chief James Craig, Tudor Dixon and Perry Johnson. Our Mara McDonald live downtown tonight. And Mara having opposing campaigns and parties comb through a candidate's petitions. I guess that's pretty standard. Uh, Jace, call it politics 101, uh, as well as combing through their campaign finance statements. All of this is standard operating procedure. Let me show you. The filing deadline for political office has come and gone, and all sorts of busy bees have been combing through the petitions candidates filed to run for office looking for errors. It's the easiest way to get someone disqualified. It's an easiest way to get someone off of the ballot. So the fact that people are looking at this, there's, there's nothing surprising there. The Michigan Democratic Party is challenging three GOP gubernatorial candidates, Craig, Johnson, and Dixon. Former MDP Chair Mark Brewer is handling the Craig challenge. The Craig petitions are the worst set of petitions I've ever seen. And it goes beyond the forgery. I mean, the defects in circulator certificates, in headings, duplicates, bad lock, bad signatures. I I've never seen such a mess. The Dems aren't the only ones challenging Craig's signatures. A pro Tudor Dixon super PAC is as well. How much of this is performative political theater remains to be seen. Unsurprisingly, the Michigan GOP calls these moves desperate. But signature problems have kicked candidates from the ballot before. All you have to do is look at the signature problems former GOP Congressman Thad McCotter had in 2012. There's an issue with the people that are employed at the level of getting the signatures because they are compensated by the number of signatures they get and they're not worried whether they're valid or not. Back here live, it's been a problem in the past. We're going to see if it's a problem now. What's next? These, ca these campaigns that have had these challenges filed, they get to respond, and the State Bureau of Elections is going to have to take a look at it, do a deep dive. I think we're going to have a decision on where this all shakes out probably by the end of May. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Either way, setting up for a fascinating election season. All right, Mara.